Hello everyone, thanks for joining us today. My name is Veronika, Cisco Technical Marketing Engineer. And in today's session, we are going to talk about encrypted visibility engine feature that was introduced as part of the Cisco Secure Firewall 71 release. So let's get started. As the world is transitioning towards the encryption and more secure protocols such as TLS 1.3, Malware is also hiding within the encryption and evasive traffic flows. Performing decryption on all traffic flows can come with severe implications on network level devices and therefore becoming a costly solution. Furthermore, many applications such as that are running on cloud native environments or running on the mobile devices often use bidirectional certificate uh, based uh, authenticated TLS sessions that cannot be decrypted simply on network level devices. And therefore we have invented encrypted visibility engine feature that provides enhanced firewall visibility and detection of the malware within TLS encrypted flows without performing decryption. How cool is that? Our mission is to detect malware and defend users' privacy. So now you are asking how our Cisco Secure Firewall detects client application processes and associated threats on encrypted traffic flows without performing TLS decryption. So let's have a look. We leverage actually something called TLS fingerprinting that allows us to gain insight into network's activity. And also it helps us to detect any malicious behavior on the network generated from the endpoints. TLS fingerprinting also help, help us to identify actual process name and whether it's associated with any threat or malware. All identification happens on the very first TLS handshake packet, client hello. Let's look at an example. Let's assume that the client opens applications such as Safari browser and initiate TLS session to HTTPS Cisco.com website. Firewall processes first TLS handshake packet, client hello, upon which the TLS fingerprint is constructed. The TLS client hello packet in TLS handshake consists of multiple parameters such as client prefer cyber suit and various extensions such as server name. Different client applications uses different values for those parameters. Therefore, fingerprint string is generated based on selected data features in the TLS client hello to identify process name. So as you can see, all of this happens in early packet flow uh, processing stages before actual data are transmitted. However, multiple processes or applications can be mapped to one DLS fingerprint. To overcome this situation, we, we are leveraging also something called destination context to avoid any false positives and to achieve more accurate results. So you are asking, what is the destination context? It is essentially destination port, destination IP address, server name if it is not encrypted, along with the TLS fingerprint string. Application process detection starts with generated TLS fingerprint that is being matched against a set of known fingerprints when we see a TLS handshake. Fingerprints are available in Cisco proprietary database. New or known malware is identified from the predatory traffic samples. And our encrypted visibility engine offline processing system that consists of multiple machine learning techniques can correlate all data together and determine process name, process confidence value, and probability of the process being associated with malware or threat in general. Upon encrypted visibility engine analysis are performed information such as process name, process confidence score, and malware probability uh, associated to this process are displayed within our eventing system in Cisco Secure Firewall Management Center and also in other UI element sections. I would like to also point out that this process works for identification of evasive apps and also for the applications that are leveraging TLS 1.3. And all this happens without performing any type of decryption, without decrypting TLS handshake and without decrypting the full TLS session. Pretty cool, right? So now finally, let's have a look how to enable encrypted visibility engine feature 
in the product itself. So first of all, we navigate to our firewall policy set, and then we navigate to advanced tab, where down below uh, you can find section that, that allows us to enable encrypted visibility NG feature by single UI node option, upon which the system presents you information about how this function, how this feature actually works. And upon reviewing this message, we simply save our configuration and deploy to our firewalls, upon which we can get all the benefits that are coming from this feature. This feature is available on Cisco Secure Firewall 7.1 release running slot free detection engine and that is being managed by Cisco Secure Firewall Management System. Note that TLS fingerprints are actually part of the Cisco VDB fingerprint database, so make sure that you always run the latest greatest release of VDB package in order to get improved detection accuracy. So now we are ready to look into encrypted visibility engine feature in action. So first of all, I have opened up Cisco Secure Firewall Management Center, and more specifically uh, our firewall rules. And I would like to point out that none of the features that help us to decrypt the traffic, whether it is decryption of the TLS handshake for TLS identity discovery feature, or the feature like like SSL policy that help us to decrypt the full traffic flow, none of those features are actually enabled uh, on the firewall that processes the traffic flow that we are going to generate. So now we move to the eventing system where we first apply the filter to, to get display events only uh, related to the encrypted flow that we are going to initiate. And during our example, we are going to initiate TLS encrypted uh, flow towards the same website but by using two different applications and we are going to observe how the system detects those applications. So the first TLS encrypted traffic flow uh, is going to be initiated from the Firefox browser and the, the same connection towards the exactly the same website is going to be initiated from the Safari browser. And as you can see from the event, eventing system, the first event is actually associated to the Firefox browser and second uh, event is relevant to the initiated TLS uh, flow from the Safari browser. And you can notice that without any type of decryption, the system provide, provided accurate results about detected process names that actually initiated the encrypted tra uh, traffic flow. And in this case, none of those applications has been associated with the uh, malware. But let's have a look how the eventing system will look like when we initiate the malware. So right now I'm adjusting uh, our eventing builder to find out all flows relevant to the HTTPS. And you can see that on my network we have detected various processes such as Chromium, Cisco AnyConnect, Cisco Amphor, Envoy, Cisco WebEx, and so on and so forth. But uh, I'm actually generating from one of the endpoints the malicious tra traffic flows that actually use the our thread grid set, uh, samples. And if I, if, if I try to find them based on the process name, you can see that a lot of applications have been associated with the malware and the malware confidence is pretty high and in some cases it's uh, it's confirmed that this one hundred percent to be uh, true threat on the network. So as you can see you can get a lot of visibility processes that uh, the clients are leveraging to establish encrypted traffic flows but also to gain visibility without decryption uh, about what's the problem probability about our processes to be associated with the known threat. So as you can see, it works like a charm. So give it a try. So as you can see, encrypted visibility engine feature provides us a different approach to identifying applications and threats of the network. And with that in mind, thank you very much for your attention. If you would like to learn more about this feature, please click on the next video link in the right upper corner. Um, 
and let us know any feedback you have on this feature down below in the comments.